Hello and welcome back to Tinglewinger 5. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new thermal camera which will be used on my second channel, Life in Thermal. So this is the Seek Thermal Compact Pro uh, edition. It's an upgrade to the Compact they had before. So the biggest change for this model of the thermal camera is the increased resolution. But as we can see this camera is actually very tightly export controlled. So there is stickers here and to even get it to this country I've had to sign documents as well as take it through customs. So this is a Seek Thermal Compact Pro. It's very small, comes with a nice, very hard case. This case really feels like it's going to take a beating, and apparently it's waterproof as well, though I've not tested that for obvious reasons. And it comes with a little hook inside that you can put on the outside, and uh, clip it to your keys if you wish, or just put it on a, a, wet, a neckband, which I would. Uh, so that's the actual camera there, it's very small, it takes a micro USB, it's important to note, we'll come on to that a little bit more later. And here is the instruction series set for the Compact Pro. So we're having a look at some examples, and it tells you all about the Compact series. So they've got the one, the Compact, the Compact Extended Range, uh, and we have Compact Pro here, which is essentially combining the two with some more resolution. And people use it for all sorts of things, from hunting to looking around, uh, electrical engineering and everything like that. So let's have a look. We are subject to USEAR registrations, uh, so that's the form I had to sign to even get this camera. Uh, it's classed as a dual use item, so it's classed for military and civilian use. And let's plug it up. So what you're going to need is a phone with micro USB. So my recommendation is the Samsung Galaxy series, but if like me you have a phone with a Type-C port, then you are actually going to need an adapter, but this unfortunately slows the video down, so you're going to get a much better performance from a phone with native micro USB. So at the moment you can see it's gone upside down because I was holding the phone a little bit funny, but as I move it around here it goes the right way up. So this is the thermal camera being used with the phone, so all I've done is download the Seek Thermal app and plugged it into my phone. Now the range on this is from minus 40 to 330 degrees Celsius and plugging it into a Type-C phone like so. So there's a couple of adapters. There's this Vixing adapter which doesn't actually work uh, consistently anyway. Uh, but some adapters that I've used that do work, uh, here's a list for you right now. Uh, so I've used Allian and Minova. I've confirmed these two to work. And here's the actual video from the thermal camera itself. So it's showing my cats at the moment. Nice uh, heat spot around the eyes and ears where the fur is a little bit thinner. And you can see it's got a cold nose for temperature regulation as most animals do. And unfortunately I had the camera upside down for this, so I've had to flip it upside down so the temperature scale is the wrong way up. Uh, this is a cotton on fire with some lighter fluid, just to see how hot it gets. And as you see, even this is topping out the thermal camera because it gets so hot. So if you want some more videos on this, go to my Life in Thermal channel. I'll even post a thermal version of this video. And let me know what you want to see in thermal. Thanks for watching everyone.